Today we're going to talk about Mongerta aspersa. It's a goby that's known as the purple spot goby. But the thing about it is, this goby is, uh, it's in the 20 gallon antique aquarium. And all that filters out the entire aquarium is a BCB bag, as you can see here. <coughs> And the gobies have spawn for me just the other day, and I thought I would take some film of it because uh, I know a lot of people would like to breed gobies, and they're not very successful at it. But here's a case that uh, an aquarium that has nothing but a BCB basket filtering the entire thing there's no sponge filters, there's no plenum, there's nothing on this 20 gallon tank. So the only thing that's uh, really doing anything for the tank is this basket basically is containing everything that it's needed. But it's doing it so well that uh, gobies have actually spawned in it. Now this is only two gobies, or were three gobies. And one of them jumped out, and I wondered, oh, what happened to the goby? And I found them dried on the ground. Well, I see why, because one's a male and one's a female. The <coughs> male of the purple spot goby is the one that takes care of the eggs. And uh, usually they say, when it comes to prepping fish for spawning, that you should give them specialized food, and I've done none of that. I'm going to be honest with you, I've done none of that. And as you can see, the eggs are in like sacks. They do not spawn uh, the same as other fish because each egg is in its own little gel sack to protect it. And the male then will fan the eggs while the female is chased away. And this is the male fanning the eggs on the plant. And this is something that I thought a lot of people have never seen, where you actually see the eggs of a goby. Now, there's no salt in this aquarium. Okay, there. this is just hard water, Florida hard water. And the only thing I've been feeding them is nothing special. Uh, this is it. This is all I've been feeding them. Veggie food and uh, Beta Pro. That's it. That's all they eat. Uh, I try to give them, uh, one day I'll feed them like the Beta Pro, next day I'll feed them the Guppy Beta Food here by Sarah. But uh, that's it. Nothing special. I've not fed them any frozen foods or anything else. And I thought this would be interesting because uh, a lot of people never get to see the eggs of a goby and what they really look like. Now, this is another thing I think that makes this a little unusual is the gobies are breeding in an aquarium that's not using all your uh, sponge filters or anything else. The sponge you see in the back is only to protect so I don't suck up babies in the... Uh, canister filter. But other than that, they're a little different. As you can see, the egg sacs, they, they almost r remind you of like octopus sacs, the egg sacs. But they are a lot different than, let's say, your normal tropical fish, like, uh, for example, angelfish. As you can see, my angelfish here in the 90-gallon aquarium they're also spawning. In fact, um, in the 90-gallon aquarium, I have angelfish spawning on one side of the aquarium, and on the other side, I have another pair of angelfish that I grew up that are spawning on the other side of the aquarium. Now, I can understand why they could be spawning is because of the fact that I will feed them frozen foods like blood worms or prime shrimp. But uh, not feeding a fish anything special except dried food and having it spawn like that, a goby, uh, I thought that was relatively interest, interesting that uh, 
people probably haven't seen that. But the point I guess I'm trying to make with this video, with fish spawning in all my tanks at present, this has to tell you something about water quality and what may be missing in your aquarium, or maybe I should say what is in there that could be stopping your fish from spawning. The main thing I try to do is I got a lot of quarries and I was trying to spawn the quarries. And I just threw these guys in because I like gobies. <clears throat> and uh, instead of the quarries spawning, the gobies are spawning. And I thought I would show people that it doesn't really take much to spawn different fish. But this is just a case in point that uh, uh, with hard water, which is what we have in Florida, even with hard water, I should say our hard water, the fish seem to be spawning in all my tanks without a problem. And I know we read that all oh, the, the, the fish need this or that or this water condition or this temperature. I don't even pay attention to the temperature. I don't pay attention to the KH. I don't pay attention to the GH. The only thing I know is we have a lot of calcium in our water here in Florida. That's all I pay attention to. Yeah, it's high in calcium. Okay, big deal. I don't do anything else for any other fish that spawn. But I thought I'd make this short video just to let everybody uh, see and know that, uh, once again, without even trying, we have a fish spawning without any undue stress on my part. I mean, I don't really, you know, separate the eggs or do anything like that because I'm not really loaded full of tanks and trying to uh, sell fish or anything else. But uh, this this proves to you, this I'm going to be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever uh, spawned a goby in any of my aquariums um, because I just, let's see, a long time ago I had some gobies. Oh, I'm talking a long time ago, maybe before the anoxic filter, and they didn't really do anything, you know what I mean. And I'm talking, has to be 40, 40, 50 years ago when I had gobies. Of course, they didn't spawn or anything for me, but uh, um, then I decided, well, I saw these spotted gobies here, and I thought, oh, they look nice, purple spotted gobies. You know, they look nice, and I thought, ah. Oh, I'll buy some, put them in the tank with the uh, quarries. And uh, as you can see, without even trying, feeding them just dried foods, they seem to be spawning uh, without any special, <laughs> you know, I hate to say it, anything special. You know what I mean? Just an anoxy filter, a BCB basket, no sponge filters, no nothing. So I wanted to show you that. Um, just a short little video to keep you up to date that uh, the BCB basket or the anoxy filter must be doing something to the water quality. It's either taking away or adding something that the fish like. More so than when I did not use the anoxy filter. And believe me, I've been keeping fish a long, long time. And I notice difference in fish when you add an anoxy filter or a BCB bag or a plenum or something like that than when you don't. Because it's unusual that I've never had like two pairs of angels in an aquarium breeding at the same time, along with other live bear fish and stuff, you know, having their fry and baby and everything um it just wasn't that uh pro for list you know what i mean it, it just they, they just didn't do it that often you may have to wait quite a while i would have to wait but as soon as i start using plenums and bcb bags and stuff like that uh the fish seem to 
uh, spawn more readily for me than without it. Is there a correlation? I don't know. You decide. Anyhow, this is Dr. Novak. I want to thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, happy fish keeping.